Hi there. Today we want to talk about the best way to and not to take pictures of your firearm when you're going to post on Facebook or anywhere else for that matter. I've enjoyed watching a lot of pictures over the years and for some reason there's some recurring themes. I think they're silly as hell. We're going to get into it. We're going to tell you how not to do it, how to work a couple things on your camera so that you can take beautiful pictures of your firearms and not look like you just live in your mom's basement. How many times have you seen a picture like this on the internet? I've got a real easy fix for this, guys. Unless you have a really bad back, what you want to do is take a step back, then lean over with your camera. You can see it just fine. I'm almost looking flat down at it. I bent over a little bit at the hips. It's a good athletic position, but look at this picture. Or if you have a foot fetish, by all means, let's see more of your feet. This just doesn't cut it, guys. And uh, there's one guy in particular who's a good friend of mine who right now is either laughing or saying, curse you, Dave Rake. Right? When it comes to pictures, lighting is everything. Flash doesn't tend to do real good against shiny surfaces, but light does. And no better light than direct sunlight on a sunny day. Don't have that today, it's gloomy. Let me show you another trick. I've got a nice surface here. There's nothing but the gun and a clean table. Here's a chair. I can stand on this chair and get a beautiful picture of this gun. And I can get down, I can come back. But look, it's just the gun. How many times have we seen this picture? Just so you guys feel better, that's clean underwear. Um, and of course, you don't want to take pictures without showing your trusty survival knife. I don't know what to say about this. How many times do we just see this? Make your bads! See, that took me all of about one minute. And uh, now we can see the rifle. And just the rifle, and not underwear, and not socks, and not a, I think I saw one once that actually had a fast food wrapper in the guy's bed, and reminded me of my college days. I understand why people use the bed a lot, it's a flat surface, it's up off the ground, you don't always have to show your feet, but more than anything else, it's most what a lot of the younger guys have, they don't have a big broad surface with which to do that stuff, especially if they're living in an apartment or something. But I get the bed thing. Just make the bed. Or maybe you need to do what uh, my son did, join the army, and they'll teach you how to make the bed. Here's another quick tip, at least I like. If you wanna show off the wood or any kind of uh, feature of your gun, find something that complements it. Here I've got a, a Timbersmith Russian Red. This is on a uh, Ishmash Sega. And you can see, very pretty. Well, the same company that built this rifle, also built this rifle in 1943, and you can see the patina on that wood, how good it looks, and the one thing you want to always do when you're taking pictures is go slow, so you get a really crisp focus, your hand isn't blocking your light source, this thing goes on Rock, go figure. But what really makes things stand out is catching the right angle with the light. Right here, if I block this, you're not going to see very much. So you have to be aware of where your light source are and use your phone accordingly. It's just a, just a regular Samsung Android model. Nothing special about it. It's got a good lens on it. The point is, is if you want to show something off, find something that's complimentary. Nothing goes with a beautiful wood finish like another beautiful wood finish. 